Hello. Ah, coming at you from the bathroom uh, on uh, this new phone that I picked up in the week. It's a Nokia 640. Um, or it was, it's now a Microsoft phone. Uh, it's got a flash on it which you can carefully put on. You have to watch, you don't, when you go between this button, the flash on and off, and the. Um, that you don't hit the front camera button. Uh, I like it, it's got the zoom feature there, which is noiseless. And, um, well, you can't see any more of it than that, really, because I can't turn it away from the from the um, mirror. So, I'm going to be doing some filming on this a fair bit, and um, let's have a look at what I've got. Because today I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to do an unboxing of this exotic piece of equipment. It's called a chip cutter. And... Um, you use it for for cutting one of these up and then you take that and you put it in in a deep flat fryer that's out there with the cover on it to stop it getting wet because you don't want to be frying chips inside really so I thought I'd do an unboxing you know uh, I just bought this today and uh, Kill two birds with one stone, open it, test the camera, and um, well, that's two birds, no instructions. Let's see now. Okay. So So you've got two different two, yeah, two different types of, of cutter, two different sizes. And uh, I don't know why you've got two different ones of those as well. So what I'll do, it's a very grey day today. Uh, in fact, So uh, now, nah. how does that come out? Push that. Uh -huh. Okay, push that down. Mm, well, I would like that one in there, but for the purposes of this experiment, I'm going to just leave it. Okay, here we go. Good money for this, Jesus. But one potato, and uh, well, I know it's an old potato, but okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the end off it. You can't mess about when it comes to potatoes. Put that in there like that. It's a good test on the phone as well. All right, so, uh, holy shit. Oh, I've been robbed. That, that is, that is some sort of plastic fucking nightmare. That, no, 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 no. I'm going to be forced to go back to my old one. Oh, never. I've got the receipt. I'll take it back, I think. I mean, I could try it with two hands. If, if I put the phone down, put it here. Let's see. Two hands. Hey! Oh my God. I really feel like swearing a lot. Fuck. Mother in Sunday. Well, okay. I'm going to take that out. I'll tell you what. Where do I buy this from? Lidl? They usually... Okay, it comes at the bottom. They usually sell good stuff. Nah. I get the impression this is uh, just come off the back of a boat from Hong Kong. 
No instructions. No. All right. All right. What? I don't know if you can see it. What? Hang on. No, you can't see it. I'm such a thick eye. Wait a minute. There you go. Yes, our Lord said. Let there be chips. Now, after that, honestly, it's just a lot easier to buy McCain chips. Basically. Okay, so that comes out of there like that. Why would you need... Set that off there. Well, then you've got to... You've got to get the mother out. So I suppose you need... You need to cut it. And then put your next potato in. Well, bearing in mind that was a really soft and mushy potato, I think that went quite well, don't you? And uh, the second thing I wanted to show you on this new phone, I've got six minutes, so I've got this, got this um, Telefunken HR5000 digital, which is beautiful. I love it. Now, the reason it's unplugged at the moment and you can't hear it, is because I had it working and I've had the phone out going through it and everything, I've had the record player on and uh, it suddenly stopped working. So I opened it all up, which is fairly straightforward. Let's put this spotlight on. That, and um, it was getting quite hot from the heat sink here. You've got your four transistors there, which looks like they've been replaced with that paste on there. I can't see the telephone can engineers leaving messy paste like that. Um, big power supply. It's very quiet. The, the noise you can hear in the background is the fridge. I mean, there's no hum. Huge capacitors. Smoothing caps down there. And it's been on again for about for about 10 minutes. It's starting to get warm. Uh, you tune section there. Well, obviously I don't really know what everything is. Uh, and this it says, on here it says, frequency counter mod module. Before removing and slipping on the plug, remove mains plug in any case. Kind of a funny thing to say, really. They're like saying, don't remove it if you've got it plugged in, because you know what will happen, you'll trip over on the plug, and... So I'll do another video of what this sounds like, because I want to test the sound on this phone anyway. But there you go. Um, it's got two, uh, two phono stages, but I'm not sure if they're both what we often find on these older bits of kit that aren't solid, solid hi-fi, is that it's they're both just you know, moving moving magnet and moving magnet. But I did read on um, Vintage Org or somewhere like that that um, one was moving cartridge and one was moving magnet. Now, whether that's moving coil when I say cartridge, I don't know. I've come across that before and they're both just basically moving magnets with the same impedance and saying what have you. There's a button missing off that and I don't know if I lost it on route coming home, because I'm pretty sure when I was pressing buttons on it in the car, as you do when it's on the seat next to you, you're like, oh, that's, that's good, yeah, I like that, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it was there. I've been out and had a look for it. So basically, I turned it off, and uh, I had the radio going at the time, and turned it back on again, and nothing. I put the radio back onto, put the radio back on, different frequencies. On, on here, you've got FM channel, and then it'll go to, the actual channel number. It's also got a huge frequency range as well. I mean, it goes it goes from 87, look, where you normally stop. Keeps going. 83, what are we on normally? We've got down to 80. Something from 88 to, um, up to standard height wise. Uh, and a very, very nice piece of kit from 1977. Uh, you've got your preset tuners there. 
And if you put a screwdriver in it, it's infinitely easier. Um, the thing about these these kind of machines nowadays is that um, all the connections are out of date, unless, like me, you've got old equipment. So you've got you've got quadraphonic branches there. One, two, uh, yeah. So you've got well. I'm not sure actually. I assume that was quadraphonic in some way. You have this with one of these. I uh, can't read that without my glasses. Basically, you've got your old style, style speaker connections, and here you've got your DIN, your DIN inputs, which was a G, DIN stood for Deutsche International National uh, Standard, something like that. So unless you've got these a connector to plug your RCA leads into, you're stuck. Luckily, I have. I mean, I've got a cassette player which has got a DIN output as well as RCA and a lead. Uh, like, so this one here comes out the back of your cassette deck, goes straight in, which is which is much better actually because you've got play and record on all contained in one in one cable. The digital zoom on this is obviously not great, but it's all right. I mean, that's that's looking on my screen. That's pretty good. Not too much noise. Um, and it gives a, it's a very wide, must be 28 that, SLR equivalent, 28 mil, maybe a bit more. Uh, so yeah, you've got these connections here. Now you've got Phono 2, Phono 1, tape, auxiliary and a monitor. So, I'm really quite pleased with that. And um, I found this as well, rather nice. Rather, I say rather nice, you know, the master of understatement, it's beautiful. With its microphone, which, I don't know, did I? If I have it this is picked up. This is recording with picked it. Picked up. Picked up. I don't think there's a lot of uh, finger noise with it. And you can hear the radio, actually. You can hear the Grundig, um, the telephone in the background there. Well, so that was playing when I was... Well, it seems to pick that up quite well. One cassette player. Here we go. Well, it seems to pick that up quite well. Indeed. Now that just goes, that's a standard, again, a DIN lead. So, came, I bought this, yeah, it came in this, this came in that with this crazy original satchel. It was like, it was like Christmas had come early, really, to be honest. Um, it goes in there. The mic was in there with the documents. And the mic's got this case for it as well. Now this is this is so cute. It's got what they recorded on. What tape, you know? Tape is it's a bit fiddly this, I don't want to break anything. And you'll notice this is needs gluing on. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so you've got it's a two-speed machine with um with a counter. Loud strachtend is volume, I believe. And then you've got Clang, which could well be treble. Perhaps Wolfgang will tell me if he ever sees this video. Start, halt is definitely stop. Uh, rewind. And then if you press this, they've got curiously, they've got stop here, which is actually a pause. So, halt. And um, all this stuff schematic for it some more information uh ba yeah basically it's in german it's in english and german oh that is just great that is marvelous well um i've used a this is 15 minute video i don't know where the time goes honestly i think most of it went on the chip on the chip uh, dissection chip opening yeah um but it's on the inbuilt memory card an inbuilt memory i haven't put uh haven't put my own off-board memory card in yet it should be 
Shit, where is it? Uh, what do I do with it? Oh, I hope I haven't lost it. No. Well, anyway, I haven't put it in yet, so... So there you go. But I'd recommend it. I like it. I like the usability of, the, of this phone. I, um... The Windows phone. I'm not a massive fan of the fact that it's now a Microsoft phone, but hey. You know, they give a good phone, so... Fair play to Bill Gates. Well, that's been it from me for today, and um, I shall come back to you with a super duper video on um, on that when it's running, and also something on this, which um, uh, it's a Sharp G9494, and I've ordered a, I've ordered new belts and I've fitted them, and I now find that I need a new capstan pinch roller, tiny little bit of rubber. Uh, I think it's. Well, it's the best part of 20 quid. I've ordered it already. So that's to come. And what else is to come? Well, I'd like to do something on this as well. My lovely Akai. Uh, which, um, which I like very much. It's a tuner amp. And uh, it's not AA920. I've done a fair bit of work on this because there was no... It's a common problem, apparently. It snaps off. So that's actually the switch out of a Denon cassette player. And when I got it, you couldn't turn it off or on. You just plugged it in and it was always on, basically. Um, yeah. Now, there's a slight problem with it in that there's no FM on the radio. There's no stereo on FM. Uh, it's mono only. If I put it onto stereo, which it is now, mono, stereo, then... It only comes through one channel. I know it's only the, it's an FM sex section problem because it's on. If you have it on phono or 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 the others tape, you've got a microphone in there. You've got an auxiliary. This is a classic example. I've got two phono stages uh, that both have got the same. whatever phono stages have amplification you know so that's that and uh, I'm going to be selling my uh, my Luxman which I like but I don't need it particularly I've got a lot of other stuff and I'm enjoying the Lenko at the moment, it's nice. Gives a good solid sound. I had got it set up to play you something that I know will not be a problem on copyright. But um But the telephone can stop working. <laughs> Just as I was kind of thinking about doing it. And uh so there you go. Well, that's 18 minutes, 25 seconds. I, honestly, I don't know where the time goes. I don't know if you're like me. Or maybe I've said it before, you know, when I watch my own videos or make my own videos, because I don't really tend to watch much of them after I've made them. Um, certainly, I'll watch maybe a good one after I've done it immediately. And then maybe I'll watch it again two years later. Like, I, did, I watched the Rollins. I've watched the Dire Straits one a couple of times because... There's a few comments on there, and I watched it all the way through, and I thought, yeah, it was all right. I'd go back and change some things, you know. Probably like with this one, I'll, I'll watch this one back, and I'll think, that should have been, that chip cutting demo should have gone better, you know. I should have, I should have done that before, you know, etc. If only, it's, it's too late, you see, you, know, you can never go back, which is why stars, which is why the stars, I'm not saying I am one, right at this moment, but we never like to watch our, you know, our old films because uh, we, you can't do anything about it. It's too... Oh, shit. You can't change it. You fluff a line, you get something wrong. Well, I'm nearly on to 20 minutes here. Now, in the old days, when I first started working on YouTube, uh, it would take forever to load a 20-minute 
video. Well, happily, those days are a thing of the past. So, we've got some wood for the fire, which is, um, which is good. Uh, let's see. Britain wakes up to snow. Terror alerts. So, oh, hang on. You know, uh, we've got, we've got on this side, we've got terror alert, Brussels. And here we've got a bombshell. I don't know. There's a bombshell in Brussels, possibly waiting to go off. Meanwhile, Strictly is Strictly fixed. That's the real bombshell, apparently. Who knows? Anyway. Um, so that's it from me on this um, Saturday on my new camera phone, which I hope has been enlightening and not too boring. And... Hopefully, interesting right until the end. You know, I know you might say I'm filling spacey. You just, you just, you just fill in space. But um, I just don't like saying goodbye. You know, it's I have a problem saying goodbye. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to my 28 subscribers. I love you all, kind of, a lot. It means a lot to me. When I look at some people, and they've got like. Uh, 2 million subscribers, I think, wow, 2 million subscribers, how do they manage that? How do they read all their emails and stuff? It must be a nightmare, but I saw one couple, um, she does beauty tips and he does kind of like, well, he does a, an online diary, the sort of 20 some things, I just bought a house in London for 2 million, paid for with their YouTube work. And it made me think, if only I can get another 999,000, 900, uh, 68 subscribers. Uh, uh, okay. Well, ah, well, that's it. I'm low on storage. Fine, 22 minutes. That is impressive. 22 minutes, and I'm low on storage. So, on that bombshell, I shall say, uh, look forward to seeing you soon and making some videos. And, um, I nearly bought a um, Panasonic DVX100 DV camera. I'm kind of umming and ahhing about it because this is just like one take video. It's nothing as, it doesn't offer.